Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Now, today we're going to be looking at the 2016 SBA that has to do with the calculation of medical fees for patients who were infected by the Chick V virus. So, just for um, ease of entering the data, I went ahead and entered data for about 13 patients. And as you see, I have them here. I also went ahead and copied the data to another sheet, which we were told to name as patient info. If you have it blank on your, you call it sheet two on your computer, you can just right click on it and rename it. So you click, right click, and you would be able to type in the new name like I did. And so you will have all the information stored in this new sheet. Now, the first thing that we need to enter are the headings. So the headings are registration fee, because the SBAs ask you to enter the registration fee of each person who went to these different um, centers. In addition to the registration fee, you need to enter their, um, <clears throat> let me just take a quick look so I can remember what the SBA says. You need their registration fee, the blood test amount, the blood test handling fee, and the doctor's fee. So let's go back. So we're going to enter the blood test amount, the blood test handling fee, and since we're not seeing all of the word, we can actually widen the cell, all right? And we need a little space in between the word blood and blood test. Good. Once you've done that, yeah, double click on the right hand corner of the cell of the and um, of the column and you will increase the width of the column so you can see the words. So you have blood test handling fee. So that's the fee they charge for doing the blood test and handling it. And then you have the doctor's fee. All right. Let's get that. The doctor's fee. Hmm. How did that happen? Let's get back to A1. All right. Let's get back to A1. We accidentally went through the wrong all right let's get that back to a1 so we're going to type a in this cell all right we're going to put a1 in here instead so we go back to the start so here we are again so we're going to put the doctor's fee all right doctor's fee and after that we're going to Calculate, right, according to the sheet, we're going to calculate, in addition to that, the total amount that will be charged for this visit. So we have the doctor's fee, and then we're going to calculate the total cost, all right? So we're going to go in and put the heading total cost, and then we're going to put the pay insurance amount and the patient amount. So we're going to have total cost. And then we're going to calculate the insurance amount. That's how much money the insurance company is going to pay out of the fee. And we're going to widen the column as usual so that we can see all the words inside of the column. And to do that, we're just going to double click on the column ahead. And then we type the patient fees all right so we're going to be calculating all of these i said that once the person has taken a blood test the registration fee is going to be 950 otherwise it's not there isn't going to be a charge therefore we're going to have to figure out which patients actually paid a registration fee right the registration amount charged for each visit of the hospital right 
So each visit, as we saw in the upper part of the SPA, says that each visit is charged a flat rate of $950 for each blood test. So if the patient did not take a blood test, then obviously they will not be paying this fee. Therefore, we're going to have to use the if statement to determine how much the registration fee is going to be. So we're going to put equal if, all right? So if it is yes that the person has taken a blood test, so if that cell is equal to yes, right? So the condition is that value in the cell equal to yes, then of course the fee is going to be 950. If it's not yes, that means it's a no, then the person will pay zero. And that's how you're going to find out which patients actually, right, actually are going to be charged a registration fee. And let me fix this um, formula here. We need a comma and then a zero to indicate the amount that a person is going to pay if they did not take a blood test. So that amount is going to be zero. So let's go and add the zero to the formula. All right, so I'm going to go back into the cell, all right, where the formula is, and I'm going to put zero and then close the bracket. So this first patient had a blood test. So Pay 950. Well, let's go down. That patient did not take a blood test. So the cost for that registration fee is zero. So we copy this formula down to the last patient so that we can determine what the registration fee is for each person. And you simply just drag the right corner of the cell down until you reach the last row of customers. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is to calculate what was the amount that they paid for handling the, the, the blood fee, all right, the, the, the blood test. And they said that the blood test amount is going to be, if the blood test has a, is going to be 10%. Let's go back to the spreadsheet portion and just make sure. They said that it's 10% handling fee, right, for the cost of each blood test, 10%. So 10% is the same thing as 0.1, right? So that means the blood test handling fee is going to be equal to 10% of the registration fee. So it's going to be equal to this value in the first row, which is L, Three, and it's going to be multiplied, so here's the asterisk for multiplication, by 0 0.1, which represents 10%, right? So this person will pay $95, but this person who had no, no actual um, registration fee will pay zero. And as usual, you copy the formula down, and every time the row changes, the cells in the formula will also change. You notice we're copying the cells down and that will give you the amount that is going to be charged for handling because the person actually did a blood test and I'm going to pause here to make sure that my sheet is very much um, formatted so I'm going to double click in the first double click the columns so that they are wide enough to show all the information so I'm going to drag the registration number across and I'm going to make sure that I can see all the data in all the